In this lesson, we're going to talk about managing your paper posts in the setup section here. So if you go to wishes member setup and then paper post, you'll see something similar to this. Now you'll notice here that our table says no items found. So what this is going to do is it's going to list any posts that you have turned on the paper post functionality for and what paper posts allows you to do is it allows you to sell individual posts as if they were membership levels. So instead of having to create a new membership level uh, for these particular posts, you can just turn on the paper post and you can sell them uh, directly and it sort of it creates kind of a pseudo level uh, for that particular post. Now you may do that if you have a, a site where you have maybe you have a membership site and you have content that goes away your archive content or something like that and you want to sell uh, access to those past posts to people then you can uh, do something like this or maybe you have a uh, a download uh, a product download sort of setup where the downloads and everything for them to get access to a particular product is all on one page or post then uh, you can use this method for giving people access and selling those if you prefer. You can still do the levels, but you can do this as well. So those are some scenarios where you might use this. Um, but let's talk about sort of how, how this works in this area here. Now, again, you'll notice this has no items found. So we'll go over to the post edit screen. And this is the same for posts or pages or custom post types. Uh, so it, it really doesn't matter in that regard. But you'll notice down here in the wishlist member section, under per post access, you can enable the paper post functionality for this particular content. So we'll turn yes. Uh, and then what you'll see here is it says shopping cart integration SKU. So this is what we're saying now, instead of having to integrate when you do the integration with wishlist member using a level SKU and integrating the level with a product on your shopping cart, you can now uh, you can integrate this specific post and use this SKU uh, and integrate it with a product on your shopping cart. You can also allow free registrations. We can uh, click here to update user access and you can see here we can turn on whether a particular uh, user has access to this uh, post. So again, we've turned on paper post functionality. It's gonna be protected just like uh, if it, it would if it were uh, a membership level. Uh, and so now we can give people individual access, we can search and so forth. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's just give this a, a quick title demo like this. And then we'll publish this post with uh, the paper post functionality turned on so that we can now come over here and that that post is now in our list here. And so if you click on the link here, then it's going to come into a, a few settings here, which is enable paper post func for this content. So the same settings that we saw over here in terms of enabling it and allowing free registrations, you're now seeing that over here as well. And then we go into notifications. There's a new member registration and incomplete registration, just like there is for a membership level. So we click these open and you can edit the, the notification that a new, uh, new user will get, the admin notification when someone signs up for this paper post, and then the e incomplete registration email as well. So just like levels, again, paper posts, when you turn it on for posts, that we basically create a kind of pseudo level for that particular post so you can sell it directly as opposed to through a membership level. All right, so again, that's what paper posts in this particular setup section are and how they work uh, and, and, and the settings that are available inside of here.